Did you know that the objects around you can hold enormous symbolic and spiritual power? Did you know that every single object you come into contact with emanates and transfers energies? And are you aware that accepting objects from others can have serious repercussions on our physical and mental well-being? If these questions have made you think, you need to watch this video to the end because you will discover what are the 10 things that you should never accept from anyone. So sit back and listen to this Zen story that will help you protect your inner peace and emotional balance. But before continuing, if you are not one of us yet, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to be informed when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. The wise and ancient monk Shozo, keeper of ancient secrets and profound spiritual truths, was revered by all for his profound understanding of life and the energy that permeates it. One day, as his disciples gathered around him in the monastery cloister, Shuzo began to speak about the importance of discerning the energy surrounding the objects in our lives. Have you ever thought about the energy that surrounds what we possess? Asked the wise monk, scanning the faces of his disciples for curiosity and expectation. You must know that every object we accept from others carries with it not only a material history, but also an energetic history, a reflection of the experiences and emotions of those who have touched it. The disciples listened attentively, eager to learn their master's teachings and to understand how to preserve their own serenity. There are 10 objects that we should absolutely avoid accepting from other people, Shuzo continued, as they can profoundly affect our spiritual energy and well-being. The first object Shuzo spoke about was mirrors, which on a symbolic level can be seen as subtle portals to the deep world of our soul. Mirrors, the monk said in a reverent tone, are not simply reflections of our physical image, but also mirrors of our inner being. They can reflect our joys, our fears, and our deepest desires, but there is a curious and disturbing aspect to them. Mirrors can also retain the energies of the people who have looked at them, thus becoming sources of both positive and negative energy. To illustrate the point, Shozo told the story of a young monk who, accepting a mirror used by an old hermit, began to experience strange visions and nightmares. That energy stored in the old mirror, Shozo said, had brought with it the hermit's memories and emotions, influencing the young monk more than he had ever imagined. The second object Shuzo mentioned was salt, that simple condiment we often take for granted. Salt, he explained calmly, has the power to absorb and retain the energies of the people who touch it. When we accept salt directly from another person's hands, we may unwittingly take in their energies as well, which could be positive or negative. I remember a young cook who frequented the temple many years ago. One day he accepted some salt from a traveler, and from that moment on, while cooking, he began to experience a strange feeling of oppression and bad mood. That energy trapped in the salt, Shozo said, had affected the mood and well-being of the cook, obscuring the goodness of the food he prepared. The third object Shuzo spoke of was the used mattresses, those guardians of sleep and rest. Mattresses, he said solemnly, are not only places where we rest our bodies, but also reservoirs of energy accumulated over time. Accepting the mattress used by other people could also mean welcoming their energies, which could profoundly influence the quality of our sleep and our inner peace. And to make the point clearer, Shozo told the story of a monk who, accepting an old mattress from a traveler, began to experience insomnia and disturbing dreams. That energy trapped in the mattress, Shozo said, had brought with it the traveler's worries and anxieties, disturbing the monk's sleep and tranquility. The fourth object Shuzo mentioned was someone else's wallets, the custodians of our material possessions. Wallets, Shuzo said with a sigh, are not just containers of money, they are also reservoirs of the financial and emotional energies of the people who have touched them. 
So, accepting a used wallet from another person could mean accepting their energies too. And these could influence, negatively, our financial situation and our emotional state. Some years ago, the monk continued, a merchant approached me who, accepting an old wallet from a friend, began to experience a series of financial misfortunes and constant anxiety. That energy retained in the wallet, Shuzo said, had brought with it the worries and troubles of its previous owner, thus affecting the merchant's prosperity and serenity. The old pots and pans or the kitchen tools that hold the secrets of our meals were the other objects the monk spoke of. Pots and pans, Shuzo said with a smile, are not just cooking tools. They are also custodians of the culinary and emotional energies of the people who would use them. Accepting pots or pans used by other people could mean welcoming their energies too, which could influence the taste and quality of the food we prepare. On this topic, Shozo told the story of a woman known and appreciated by all as an excellent cook. The woman one day accepted an old frying pan from a relative and from that day, she began to experience a sudden decline that led her to not cook as well as she once did. That energy retained in the pan, Shuzo said, had carried with it the memories and emotions of its previous owner, thus influencing the flavor and goodness of his dishes. Other objects that, according to Shuzo, we should never accept from others are used religious or spiritual objects those amulets and talismans that we often carry with us for protection. Religious or spiritual objects, the old monk said with a serious expression, are not only symbols of faith, but also custodians of the spiritual energies of the people who have touched them. Accepting religious or spiritual objects used by other people could mean welcoming their energies as well which could influence our spiritual practice and our relationship with the divine. To illustrate the point, Shozo told the story of a devotee who, upon accepting an old talisman from a friend, began to experience a series of very intense spiritual visions and sensations. That energy held in the talisman, Shozo said, had carried with it the experiences and emotions of his previous owner thus strengthening the spiritual bond and protection of the devotee. As the disciples became more and more fascinated by their mentor's words and reflected on the times they had accepted objects from someone, the monk continued his lesson by speaking about jewels and objects of sentimental value. Jewelry and objects in general that have sentimental value, Shozo said with a nostalgic tone, hold the most precious memories of our lives. They are not only ornaments, but also custodians of the emotional energies of the people who wore them, and accepting them could mean welcoming their energies as well, which could influence our feelings and memories associated with those objects. Many people, the monk added, when they inherit the jewels of a mother or another ancestor, begin to experience a series of very intense emotions and memories related to their childhood. That energy retained in the jewels, Shuzo said, carries with it the love and affection of the loved one who is no longer with us, thus recalling the sweetest moments of his or her life. Shuzo then moved on to talk about used books and diaries, objects that contain thoughts, emotions, and knowledge. Books and diaries, he said in a reflective tone, are portals to inner worlds, containers of ideas, dreams, and secrets. Accepting them from others can mean coming into contact with their experiences, thoughts, and emotions, which could influence our perspective and state of mind. The ninth object Shuzo mentioned was photographs, windows into past moments and emotional bonds. Photographs, he said with a hint of melancholy, capture moments of life, emotions, and relationships. Accepting them from others can also mean welcoming the energies and emotions tied to those images, which could influence our perception of the past and our bonds with the people portrayed. Finally, Shozo spoke of unwanted gifts, objects received without real enthusiasm or appreciation. 
unwanted gifts, he said with a sympathetic smile, can carry with them an energy of obligation or expectation, creating a sense of unease and imbalance. Accepting them can mean accepting these negative energies as well, affecting our freedom and well-being. As the sun sank behind the mountains and the silence surrounding the monastery provided moments of peace, Shazo looked at his disciples with compassion and continued, Remember that our energy is sacred and precious. Be aware of what you accept into your life, as each object carries a story and energy that can influence your inner being. The precious lesson I would like you to take home is that we are responsible for the energies we bring into our lives. Every object, even the most seemingly innocuous, can transmit vibrations that influence our physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. It is therefore important to be aware of what we accept into our lives and choose wisely what surrounds us. Whether it is a gift from a friend or a personal purchase, let's take control of our energies and intentionally create a space of harmony and positivity. Be the custodians of your energy and let your life shine with light, joy, and inner peace.